ഹലോ എവരി വൺ വെൽക്കം ടു അനദർ എപ്പിസോഡ് ഓഫ് ഐ എച്ച് എൻ എ ഐ എച്ച് എം കരിയർ ഓസ്ട്രേലിയ ടുഡേ വി ഹാവ് നൈഷാദ് ഗദ്നി വിത്ത് അസ് വെൽക്കം നൈഷാദ് ഫോർ ടു അനദർ എപ്പിസോഡ് ഓഫ് കരിയർ ഓസ്ട്രേലിയ താങ്ക് യു വെരി മച്ച് ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ കൺഗ്രാചുലേഷൻസ് ഓൺ ഇൻട്രോഡ്യൂസിങ് എ ന്യൂ നോവൽ കൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ടു ഓസ്ട്രേലിയസ് മൈഗ്രൻറ്റ് പോപ്പുലേഷൻ താങ്ക് യു ഗോട്ട് ഓസ്ട്രേലിയ ഗോട്ട് ഫ്രഷ് ടാലൻറ്റ് യെസ് സോ ഐ ഹോപ്പ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ദ ഇനിഷ്യേറ്റീവ് ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് വെൽ സോ പ Yes it is yes and we would like to know you know some more about uh, about the concept you have introduced in Australia Sure sure so i think the concept Australia has got fresh talent you know is more around you know sort of you know breaking the wall between the job seekers and the employers okay. so that's the you know very simple way mm-hmm. that what we try to do is to bring employers or recruiters to the, or the decision makers yeah. straight into the contact with the job seekers okay. Okay. and in an interesting way mm-hmm. so that's the concept uh, of that um and um, you know what what i have always observed is that most of the migrants when they come to me or they would probably you know also come to you because you run similar program in in darwin is yes. that how do i talk to my, the employers yes. you know because i want to explain what i've done yeah. to the employers and for employers that they, they sometimes don't understand how their experience relates to them mm. it's not that they don't want to give them a chance but i think there is a failure also from both the sides where you know job seekers are failing to to make them understand and from employers point of view they don't have time to really understand how those experiences relates to them yep. so that's what i want to break mm. that and bring them closure yep. that's uh, good to hear and i think most of the program so far or you know many primarily because it was focused on the, the on the employee side or yes. the migrant side i think there may not be much of uh, you know initiative or effort to yeah. has been gone through to uh, showcase it to the employers absolutely uh, primarily even though the industry council should have done something you know it yeah. would have been within the uh, limitation so it's not something that very commonly done yep. to convince employers of how uh, this experience can actually add value to australia absolutely so uh, so i understand you know that's you uh, ceiling that you know that glass ceiling uh, yes. break sorry break, breaking that glass yes, ceiling yeah. is great uh, so what are you actually also trying to solve by yeah. this concept you know yeah. yeah i understand that you know it's uh, trying to bridge that gap yeah. but how do you solve the bigger problem so i think the bigger problem that i'm trying to solve is by bringing them closure what what has what's happening is that the employers are open to have a discussion with people hmm. you know and and the job seekers feel that they they've got somebody that they can talk to and listen to okay. so that's one of the biggest challenge right mm-hmm. you know whether you are in darwin or melbourne or yeah. perth or anywhere the job seekers feel that i i can't even explain i i send this resume out and it goes into a black hole and yeah. i never get any feedback yeah. or anything from them yeah. and when i pick up a phone call i can't even talk to them so what's wrong right yeah. so Absolutely. this is this is the opportunity for them to have an interaction with them mm. but in a very interesting fashion okay. and that's what makes this concept unique yep. it's not a networking but it's still networking with a twist in it that brings them closure and 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 i've seen uh, sulal over a mm. period of time that the employers are open to this mm. because i believe you know you you work in you know, a one of the leading medical you know community health services yeah. and you work in hr you would always be open yeah, to yeah, yeah. to look for great talent it's not that the employers are not looking no, for great no. talent they actually have to see that novel ideas and you know see that there are initiatives which yeah. people bring it bringing it forward to actually to life so if there are initiatives that actually making you know real difference on the ground yeah. you know i I'm, i have seen the event from the industry everyone is you know open towards exactly yeah. exactly and that's what that's what i'm trying to do is that i say hey employer or recruiter you're looking for talent yep. why don't you come here and talk to them mm. right and i'm saying to the migrants that look i'll have the ta- i'll have the the hiring manager or the recruiter sit in the audience and you have a go with them yep. you, you explain why you got a great candidate mm. to them i think it's also a good way of uh, you know providing an opportunity to the migrants to uh, you know primarily face employers and actually you know instill that confidence in Absolutely. them Absolutely. because many times what it lacks is when you go for an interview or yeah. going to meet someone you actually that may be the first time and you it takes a number of times to polish yourself Absolutely. to reach that stage Absolutely. but if you get an opportunity to actually 
showcase it in a comfortable environment exactly. that creates a lot more confidence in someone's uh, professional you know that experience and absolutely. then further they will have uh, a better go primarily absolutely absolutely so you know uh, when i was talking about yeah. this initiative you said you started in melbourne yeah. uh, what what is that some of the outcome yeah. you have observed uh, so far out of this different pitch nights absolutely mm -hmm. so we had uh, around our first pitch night we had 11 people uh, 11 migrants who pitched yep. and the second pitch night i think i had six so it was 17 people who pitched mm -hmm. just purely out of those 17 people two people found jobs just through that pitch night itself that's awesome so we had one of the one of the return to work mom yep. she was a project manager back in india and she was returning to work after 5 or 6 years okay. and um, you know she was obviously return to work is a massive change mm. and she was going through the transition and that's where we had you know a couple of people from uh, a big grocery company mm -hmm. who were there and then they gladly called her the next day and eventually you know prepared her for interviews and then she eventually after a couple of months or probably 3 months or so she was then offered a uh, role as a projects manager okay. uh, in infrastructure space and that's wow. where she is working right now okay uh, second one was an international graduates in engineering and he was working as a laborer mm -hmm. uh, you know putting insulations on the on uh, the ceilings yeah. and that's where we had a, one of the employer there and he took him mm -hmm. for uh, you know i think couple of months on trainee okay. and wanted to see whether this person can really yep. work yep. and eventually he offered him a site engineer kind of a role which supervises couple of different uh, domestic uh, sites but also you know helps the helps the company in lot of engineering work as well okay. so these are the two you know results yep. uh, and obviously we had some meetings that happened out of that mm -hmm. we had some introductions that happened because that's one of the thing yeah. uh, i feel what happens sulal is that if you are if the problem is in front of you mm -hmm. then you will take some action yep. you know i always give that example that lot of people say you don't have homelessness australia yeah. Yeah, you know yeah. you don't have that right? yeah. until you until you go to the city at nights even darwin to sydney anywhere and you see you know how much bigger problem is it and that's why you are compelled to take some action yep. similar to that if you are if you can see that there are you know experienced and talented migrants mm -hmm. there who are struggling to get a job mm -hmm. people will open up their phone and say look i'll introduce you to sulal who knows me who works in hr yeah. why don't you talk to him yeah. i don't know whether he has a job or not but i'll introduce you to yeah. and that i believe as you would also appreciate yeah. is that that's a gold mine yeah. you know opens yeah. another window of opportunity primarily. exactly yeah. exactly that's the whole idea is that you know obviously the the primary idea is that they can pitch to the yeah. employers yeah. but once they are there they network they exchange yeah. and that's where it really warms that their relationship yeah. with them and even though i understand the primary purpose of pitch night is yeah. you know to see if they can land with an opportunity but also it also brings that networking opportunity where, Absolutely. you know it may not be today but something happens after few months so but as soon as you introduce you know each other people you know people each other Absolutely. it brings those windows of opportunity Absolutely. Yeah. and we had uh, you know in both the pitch i think we had around 200 people attend both the pitch nights yeah. and we had around i think around 20 to 25 recruiters and employers wow. attend uh, when i say employers the hiring managers mm -hmm. but we had a lot of people who were professionals in the industry yeah. as well yeah. you know people who are there just out of curiosity mm. and they open up their phones and say look i know someone i can introduce you to them yeah. now if that eventuates or not that that's very difficult yeah. uh, you know for both the sides yeah. but but that really boosted the job seekers confidence mm. now they can talk to someone and yeah. and and it felt like that people are there to listen to them mm. i and i think one of the you know key thing i've noticed from that is when you have a success from even from first or second event yeah. that actually brings uh, you know an opportunity for everyone who participated and that actually also bring a lot of confidence for you absolutely. to actually continue with that initiative absolutely uh, so that that part is actually of the opportunity side yes. and i am pretty sure when you start anything as yeah. 
there could be a lot of challenges as yeah. well so can you also tell us what what is that something yeah. you think as uh, some of the key challenges uh, yeah. with this initiative right. so i think key challenges that i've experienced is that uh, you know gaining the trust of recruiters and employers mm -hmm. because you know you know whether this is when you start something whether it's a fade or is it is it like just a new thing that someone's yeah. starting and either there's yeah. any substance or not yeah. so that's where i think i i still need to work more on gaining the trust of the recruiters and employers and yeah. see they look come here you know have a chat with these guys listen to them mm. and then make a mind whether you have an opportunity or not yeah. so that's that's one of the key challenge that i've experienced yeah. and last time obviously you know i experienced the challenge of space mm. i know that doesn't sound great but we had <laughs> we you know I, i think the next pitch night that i'll do i'll probably have to have a bigger space yeah. to make sure that i can accommodate more people yeah. Yeah. through the doors mm. um, and and thirdly also from the uh, from the job seeker point of view also is that uh i also need to win a lot of trust mm. from them as well that yeah. yes this makes a difference because you know this is not about you know i you know this is not about just you giving you a presentation that go and prepare a presentation and deliver it's a rigorous method that i've used so it it helps people in not only presentation yeah. but bringing their confidence up yeah. Yeah. you know because that's what a lot of people when they started to do they said yeah. oh nishad we have to really say that got 70 80 90 people how am i going to do that yeah. so those are some of the barriers that the job seeker has broken yeah. through yeah. Yeah. but that's that's another challenge yeah. that i or continuously yeah. look at yeah i do understand yeah. that and i think that is you know irrespective of whichever location you are in australia yes. you do have those challenges you know, absolutely I've, i've seen that as well but i think you know as we try more and more that's how we will actually come up with more and more solutions absolutely well. absolutely and uh, i do know that you mentioned about um, you know some of those um, difference what we make is one is primarily you know this may provide someone an employment opportunity yep. it may also provide a uh, networking opportunity so yes. you're actually opening you know new opportunities to yeah. uh, some of these participants absolutely and you're also bringing an opportunity for employers to see some of this talent absolutely so and is there anything else that you think out of this initiative you know for making a difference to the to the migrant community i think that's a great question because sulal what i think has happened was after you know couple of sessions is that people for for even for a day or a week they had a spotlight on this problem uh, yeah because you know i i always believe that you know the concept that i do or the work that i do has more repercussions mm. or has a domino effect even yeah. the work that you do with yeah. da, in darwin yeah. has got a consequence because right. one person finding a job impacts his or her family they yes. can bring parents here and everything yeah. else and they start to feel more and more more integrated with the community mm. and by by this uh, particular doing this talent pitch night in the public domain mm -hmm. uh, you know allowed the focus back into this migrant yeah. employment issue yeah. Yeah. which i believe has got bigger uh, yeah. than just me yeah. or just the work that you yeah. do i think it was uh, you know you know a couple of people came to me and said they didn't know they always felt that migrants would be able to find, find work jobs. so easily yeah. <laughs> right yeah, so uh, and i i had to really give them, give them that the look no it's not because yeah. and also there are results yeah. which says that you know migrants struggle to find work mm. uh, even after 12 months of being in australia now these are talking about engineers and it and accountant very skilled migrants sure. we are not talking about yeah, yeah. somebody who is unskilled yeah you know so that's where i see yeah. that that's what happened it's it's also an advocacy work for yeah. me too I think that's great because sometimes you know yes doing work at our individual level yes it do it does affect or impact people in a positive way but you know issues like this yeah. is more at a more grassroots level absolutely and you just only not only required individual or you know organizational effort but you also need to advocate for it so that policy makers actually notice uh, right. you know those things and it actually influence them positively to introduce you know whether funding or you know what yes. support mechanism we can provide so that the primary purpose of skill migration itself is economic uh, you know absolutely. benefit to australia absolutely and if we are not meeting those economic benefits by bringing them here that's an economic loss for the country absolutely so i think that will yeah. uh, you know hopefully your efforts to uh, do this yeah. initiative will bring you know more advocacy to the uh, to the course and you know benefit the community 
in a larger uh, yeah. perspective i also would like to know for our viewers sure uh, you know of course it's a new initiative so yeah. there is a lot of effort time you Absolutely. put uh, behind it so what's the investment of course yeah. someone has scored yeah. uh, when they come to participate in this program? sure so australia has got fresh talent effectively is just not peach night yep yeah. so it's a, around a three month program mm -hmm. where you get to learn about job search networking employer relationship recruiter resume the whole basic things mm -hmm. and then you got a peach night now currently it is offered only in melbourne okay uh, because of this a peach night is a physical aspect of yeah. that but i do intend to have, i did a presentation in adelaide i do uh, you know go plan to go to sydney i'm talking with someone in perth as well so i think th this year i would like to do it in couple yeah. of cities more yeah. uh you know to to tell people how do you really connect with the employers mm -hmm. but you are looking at an investment of around 700 to 900 dollars okay. uh per person okay. investment so it's not a huge investment yeah. uh but it has got uh you know an a very positive impact on the way you approach okay. employment and everything yes okay. that sounds good i think uh, we wish you all the best Thank uh, you. with your initiative to go to across other states Uh, i think people will find it interesting and so that's you know the investment part i think that's a reasonable investment uh, and i also wanted to know you know some of the, so you had a number of uh, my clients participated yes, yep. in your pitch nights so what was the feedback you received yep. from some of them you know how yep. did they find the yep. opportunity and you know what's the overall feedback yeah so i think the the pitch night was a little scary experience <laughs> for most of for a lot of them yeah. so what we did was to you know this is just like a funny uh, you know sort of you know story about it that for both of them what we did was everyone had a question that who's going to do first <laughs> right who's going to do so, peach yeah, first yeah. right because this is never done before so yeah. you don't know how that's going to go yeah. so we created a, a kind of a you know a cheat for everyone mm -hmm. we put it in a bowl and everybody picked up the Number. the numbers <laughs> and that's how we did yeah. that so that's i think that's one of the biggest thing that a lot of participants told me is that that they experienced real improvement in their presentation because as you know presentation is just not about speaking it's mm -hmm. about you staying on the point it's about you articulating a particular articulating your story in a very powerful way so i think that really were, really helped secondly a lot of people said is that now they have got clarity mm -hmm. about what value that they can bring to the table yes. we had somebody who's 20 years of experience in it right wow. for him to compress the whole pitch into 3 3 and a half and it was a big task I for know, us yeah. but he was still able to do that yeah. uh, you know and that's where he found that now he's able to more more profoundly communicate what value that he can bring to the mm -hmm. table which i believe which is very paramount yep. you know in the interview process that yep. you got to be able to articulate very quickly yep. but but very aptly that this is what i can bring very to the table yep. and so, you know third point is that they felt that they are part of a team mm -hmm. so as you know job seeking is a lonely experience yes. you sit at your home apply jobs every day and sometimes you go and attend meetups yep. and sometimes you go and attend social gathering yep. but if you are looking for work what happens is you also scale down those things yeah. because you don't want people to continuously ask you the question have you found work have you yeah, found yeah, yeah. so i think that's what happened with this that mm. this became a very very good community for people to bounce off ideas of each other yeah. which is uh, you know which i found very very important for mm -hmm. me because then they we got a whatsapp group still that we continue okay. to talk about yep. if people have, if one person has found a lead of something then he will pass on that look i found something for you why don't you go and talk to this person yep. so i think in that way people found that community feeling mm -hmm. uh, along with it, which i feel that that's one of the most powerful thing okay that sounds good i think uh, particularly the one of the points you noted is about that team yes. you know, because um, as you rightly said when you look for a job it's normally irrespective of which job part of the world you are it's a lonely experience uh, you know you can even share it with your friends yeah. if they are not looking for an opportunity you know exactly. at the end of the day it's not helping you Absolutely. but if you have a group of people who are actually doing the same thing that actually put a lot of you know bouncing you know, up and back and absolutely uh, running off the different ideas and then comes up with so many different uh, variety of ideas or solutions so 
that's good uh, and i also would like to know um, you know what are your future yeah uh, you know is it continue going continuously or yeah uh, what are you seeing in the near future so yeah so obviously i want to do it but i also you know i'm working on a on a plan where we just do the peach night itself okay so we don't do a lot of training mm -hmm. but just one day of training of peach nights and then we get the get the employers and jobs okay. employers and recruiters in there okay. so that's the version that i'm really working on mm -hmm. uh, because i've always done the connected version where you learn everything and peach night but if i want to just distinct or uh, disconnect both yep. of them i really have to find uh, you know a way to do that mm -hmm. so that you come there one day of the training and next day you attend the peach night like okay. like an express yeah yeah yep. It's like okay. an extra century. Like exactly, extra century. exactly. Something like that, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Naishat, for all that information you have thank provided you. to us. I think it will benefit uh, many new skilled migrants coming to Australia. Yes. Uh, and we wish you all the best. Thank you. For your continuation of the program. Um, thank you so much to our viewers. And if you have got any suggestions or any, anything you would like us to cover, please write to us. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.